Good Wednesday morning, Privateer FX fans. January 10th. Taking a look at this foreign exchange and crypto market here at the European Open. Themes are not changing today from earlier in the week. We like Yen Cross is lower still. And we like Euro Dollar lower still and Dollar Swiss higher. Let's take a quick look and see what's what's happening here. Uh, Euro dollar traded up to 50 last night, small range, 27.49. We're getting close now to this print that we're hoping for. We're looking for the 119, the figure print, small bounce, and then we sell through 119. It's distant cousin and now feuding relative cable. Uh, did not quite give us what we wanted yesterday. It was a bit too choppy. We cut out of the cable, and we sold through 12, went down to a 6, back to 40. Uh, really pain in the ass price action. But we're still banging the drum on the medium term direction, and cable will be defined by the bar from January 3rd. The low on that bar. 134.98, maybe 95. Um, you can kind of use the figure as your barometer here because I think once it gets through the figure, you'll see a bit of a rush. Price is down through the figure. We like to touch this trend line, 134.42, which would be your first support. We've got some UK industrial production numbers out today and trade numbers today so that may lend a story to this uh, on the other hand though unlikely incredibly unlikely but just to say you have to look both ways in foreign exchange above 136.14 uh, creates a bullish case for sterling we're not expecting that we're not pre-trading this though uh, we will enter shorts only if we see price confirm through the figure. Let's check this dollar yen out. Even though U.S. yields are 256, crazy town 256. Ooh Big break through 250 now. Dollar yen doesn't like it. The threat of a change in policy at the BOJ is now undermining dollar yen. It looks like we'll undermine dollar yen for the coming days and, and probably weeks. It's just not really going to go up too well um, if the market just has a whiff of change of policy. So we're sellers of dollar yen. 112, the figure is technically massively important. Uh, it seems, hard to, seems almost hard to believe we're down here with the 10 year at 256, but the story on dollar yen is the BOJ change in policy. So, your core short dollar yen, uh, you're adding through the figure. Today, you can sell anywhere from 45 to 85, a stop above 113. Um, looking for this test and, and eventual break through the figure. Of course, short dollar yen. Dollar Swiss, we still like it higher. We're going to have some bids down here 05, 95, 85, 75. We do not think we're going to make a lower low on the dailies. Uh, yesterday's low is 64. This should cruise up to 98.87 which will be our first little resistance, but I think this is going to be one of these deals, you see it all the time, like over here, four big up days in dollar Swiss, like over here, we had up, big up, neutral, big up, neutral, big up, that was a turn, but still, um, you get your 400 points on these kind of moves in dollar yen, you got your first 70 points yesterday, so if my math is correct, there's another 330 points. Take us up to 1, 101 for this dollar Swiss. 
Sterling Swiss, we don't care. So these yen crosses, still lower yen crosses. One thirty four fifty five, the high last night. We're gonna sell some through the lows here, just because it seems to be working this type of trade um, in these crosses. Uh, but we'll also, we will be nimble and keep the keep the amounts pretty social. So we we'll have some ammo to sell on rallies as well. Of course, short euro yen. I think we're still on to something. It looks like to me that in some sort of kooky way we are going to attack these lows here which would be amazing after sideways motion for all that long break up now we're going to break down test the downside uh, sterling in the same sterling in looks a little bit better it would be great if we could bounce here for a couple of days and go sideways and we get this little head and shoulders pattern but I don't think the bars are going to wait for that so 131.75. Sell some more sterling in. Uh, Ozzy Kiwi. These guys have turned. They are not reacting with much vigor. But Ozzy through 78.06 is important. And Kiwi. There's no real technical pattern here, but Kiwi's broken down broken down to a, a pretty serious, not serious, but relatively strong lower low. So I don't think this is going to bullish engulf today. So you can kind of sell, you know, the, the thing with Kiwis, you're just sort of just going to sell 65.85 with a stop above the figure. Um, that's our plan in Kiwi today. Crypto-wise, Bitcoin sort of sucking the duck, not doing anything, down a percent. Ethereum, on the other hand, oh, baby, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. 1377. Hope you're long. We are not, we are not long here. But, uh, boy, that, that stuff is just on that sort of bullish parabolic mode same strategy throw in the random bids 20 30 percent below the market wait for the random news and the panic and try and collect longs and then scalp cash on the top side all right that's enough oh quickly stocks could it be after one, two, three, four, five, six up days, we're going to get a little red day today. Just throwing it out there. All right, guys, I've, I've, I've babbled on enough. I will see you at the New York Open. Good luck trading today.